can murder and steal and go unpunished. What will Rome say? That all our Praetorians have not even the power to halt the criminal acts of a band of miserable Christians? If those ravages go on much longer, the Emperor Titus will turn his wrath on me. Bring them in at any cost. I want them punished. But we're doing everything possible. The possible isn't enough. Do the impossible. I want their heads. Do not fear, Divinus Kinius. We shall soon bring you these bandits. Then will roam. Owe oh, you that eternal gratitude. Brave words. A worthy reply. Justice. That's all cause. Thank you, noble high priest. <laughs> never think that a volcano could mean anything to a man. Yet how many times in the heat of battle have my thoughts flown to her? How true. I've never seen Vesuvius look so fair. Nova Centurion Glaucus Leto, conqueror of Palestine and Syria, friend of Emperor Titus. Behold our gracious Pompey lying there in all her loveliness. Shall we still find the wine there as rich as the women are gay and generous? <laughs> <laughs> Jupiter is with us, Marcus. We are back from the war at last. We are home. The battles are over. Here we will find peace and women and wine. No other man could have done that. Have you forgotten what Glaucus has done in Palestine? The gods must have sent you, Centurion. If you had not come by then, I should be dead now. Thank you. I'm grateful. It still seems so impossible. For Glaucus, the word impossible doesn't exist. Hell, friends. The consul Ascanius will be grateful to you for having saved the daughter's life, Centurion. Be more careful next time. Horses do not respect beauty. made me so happy. I feared that the Jew. Ione, you're all that I've found in Pompeii that is beautiful and pure. In Pompeii or anywhere. I love you. I'm so happy. Quickly, speak to my father and come back to me soon. When Ascanius has the truth, I shall return to you. Goodbye, my dearest.
Christian. He didn't murder my father. And you, citizens of Rome, are making yourselves accomplices to a far worse crime than that of which you accuse the Christians. I only love Glaucus, and the Christian faith has become her faith. How may we expect the truth from her? High priest, the accusations you make against Ione are very grave. You will need to ask her. Find out if she will publicly renounce the God she adores. She will not. Go ahead, ask her. You have heard, Ione, of the accusation brought against you. In the memory of your father, in the name of the gods, we demand you deny this. Pronounce the words which will assure us of your innocence. Speak, Ione, do you love Glaucus? Is it true you are a Christian? Yes, I love Glaucus. And my true God is Christ. Did you not Did you? Strength. There, 